wheelchair tennis. The court, balls and the racket are the same. The only difference, the ball's allowed to bounce twice. It's the Waikato Tennis Champs. Dan and I thought we'd see if we can extend our skills. Always keen to find another way to challenge each other. Oh, oh nice. nice shot there. I like it. It's a big day for tennis here at the Waikato Tennis Champs. There's definitely some hot talent to watch out for and a bit of prize money off of grabs as well. Yeah, in the meantime, Dan and I have got our first game, so we'll catch you later. Yeah. We're just going to have a little practice. Come on, I can't do this now. You just watch us practice. Right. Tiffany okay. Perry and Jackie okay. Cordier are New Zealand's <laughs> top female players. The right people to give us the lowdown on the game. Fewer women play tennis than men. That's partly because fewer women injure themselves. And only a small proportion of women who wind up in wheelchairs play sport. But these two are feisty. Well, for me, it's not just as easy as turning up, jumping in my chair and having a bit of a hit. Because of my hand function, I need some specialised equipment so that I can actually hang on to the racket. Because otherwise, if I hit the ball, the bloody racket would probably go further than the ball. So I use this splint here, which is made out of plastic that's moulded to my hand, and the trusty insulation tape. Good because it doesn't move. Bad thing, I can't change the, um, the angle of my racket. So as you can see from this chair, it's uh, very similar to my wheelchair rugby chair with the camber on it. The camber's there um, specifically for turning and stability. These chairs are so much lighter than a wheelchair rugby chair so you can whip them around you know, really quickly. Curtis is up first. While he looks apart, it's a case of all the gear, no idea. Yeah, look who's talking. Mate, first game out of the way. How'd you get on? How did you get on? Not the best, mate. 6 1 6 love on the losing side. Yeah, I got whipped as well. If this racket wasn't taped to my hand, it would have gone flying. I think we need to get some advice, mate. Yeah, well, we're in the right place. <laughs> You've both done the European circuit, though, and, and uh, travelled throughout Asia a bit as well? Pretty much a tournament every week of the year. Um, with, somewhere in the world, yeah. whether it's Asia, yeah. America, or Europe. So you guys have been at the top. How would someone trying to get into the sport get amongst, get amongst it? Go down to their local club and start hitting with able-bodied people. Okay. They only get one bounce, mind you. We still get the two, but um, yeah, it's a it's an endless supply of hitters. So you guys obviously compete against each other a lot, but then. Uh, you go to the Paralympics and you doubles partners? Yep. So how does that work? Not really great. well. <laughs> we play well together. Complement each other really well. And we have really different styles of playing the game and it works well with doubles. She bosses me around. <laughs> While Dan is chatting up the girls, I caught up with Eamon Wood, fresh out of the juniors and a star on the rise. Tell me about your, your pathway to here. Did you go through Halberg? What did you do? How did you get into tennis? Um, I think I just went to a have a go day thing and it just sort of sparked from there and got pretty interested. Yeah. Describe for me what, what that transition is really like. I mean, what are you going through? Just trying to make a name for myself. How tough is it? Uh, pretty tough. Yep. Eamon will be one to watch. But back to the pros, Janelle Mans travelled across the ditch to be here. I only started tennis four years ago and I've just started to uh, make headway with rankings. So this year is about part-time employment and full-time tennis. What's it like in Australia? you get a lot of support? I think it's, it's a worldwide phenomenon that you know, if you ha play sport as a, an athlete with a disability, the dollars and the backing isn't there that we see with able-bodied sports. But I think that's right across the board. I mean, you top seed in this tournament? Yes, top seed in this tournament. First time that's happened, so that's great. Basically, I was told when I picked up a tennis racket that I wouldn't achieve anything with tennis because of age and inexperience. It's probably the worst thing that somebody could tell me. So my um, long-term goal is to aim for 2012 London Paralympics and um, be one of the oldest grannies on the circuit doing well. Yeah. The top seed in the men's draw is also an Aussie and should be quietly confident. Ben Weeks is ranked 12th in the world. 
Tell me about when you first started playing tennis. What was yeah. that like? And um, uh, how, you know, how, how much training do you put in now compared to when you first started? Yeah, the, well, I, I had my injury when I was 13 and uh, I was playing standing up uh, before that. So for me, I guess I kind of had the shots already. So for me, the, the really tough part was the chair and getting used to moving. And uh, you know, when I first started, I hated it. <laughs> I couldn't do it for like two years. I, I got really frustrated and I think uh, in 2000 I was uh, saw the games in Sydney and a lot of the top guys playing there and you know that really got me kind of motivated that you know I can you know still play tennis. I think the men's game in the last uh, four, four years has really stepped up and uh, it kind of used to be that there were kind of one or two guys and you kind of knew every time they were going to be in the final but now it's kind of the whole top 15 almost can, can beat each other so it's it's kind of it's more exciting and everyone's kind of pushing pushing each other you know you guys are tending to just use one bounce now what what's kind of the go yeah there? i mean is that a macho thing no i mean i think the you know the earlier you take the ball the less time your opponent has to get to it at the other side so everyone is kind of trying to get there on the first bounce to you know take the time away from their opponent at the moment it's in the men's game it's like whoever makes the first good shot usually wins the point so it's really trying to get up there and, and stay on it. What sort of money are we talking about winning here? Um, in the Grand Slams, uh, they're the biggest ones. Uh, so I think the US Open has the most at the moment. It's about 90,000 US. It's just keep plugging away at it and you know, eventually it'll, it'll pay off. So. Do you hear that, kids? Practice, practice, practice. Thanks, Ben. Thank you very nice much. Time, man.